Hey everybody, this is Tim Motika here. I know I haven't done a video in a really long time, especially for YouTube and all, but I actually de I actually am making this video because while well, I'm taking my walk because I actually am I actually am feeling a little bit alone. And I'm gonna talk about like friendships who that come and go today. Now we've all encountered to this so like things that ha like this before like we might have friends who actually of all different age groups of all different races of different cultures etc etc and we unfortunately um sometimes they they, they last forever and sometimes they go away I I am going to pretty, I am pretty much going to talk about at least at least the, at least like two friendships that I had all my my whole life well I no, actually I'm just gonna talk about one. I actually um used to have a friend like for example I used to have a friend named David Skellinger who used to actually like I used to know him since kindergarten. That's where we met at least. Between like ninety I think I maybe I have met him in the nineties, but I I definitely got was got close with him in two thousand. When we started in kindergarten and elementary school, we grew up for so many years together. We loved the same things like Nickelodeon, Disney, Cartoon Network. We loved. We pretended we we would actually make our bedrooms into like laboratories for like pretend we were like Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. We would actually play computer games and video games. To get, we like the same types of video games like Mario and Sonic. We actually had like, we actually like went on adventures with like I with he went with me and my family. I went with him and his family. We went to like sort of like all the went to so many places together. And you know, it's it's just like he actually was one of the, th the people who I, I just li liked the best in my life. And you know, we got, there were times when we got separated between when we were eight, nine, ten years old. We had like a couple sleepovers and campouts that, that, that time period. As well as probably a couple other friends, I think. And then we actually, and then during middle rest of our middle school years, we probably kept in touch, I think, we used we wrote letters and phone called each other and stuff like that and then we in person like in 2009 we started seeing each other again and we got I think we got together a couple times over the summer and then we got we got back together full time in in 2009 when I started when we both started high school at SHS Southampton High School We actually, for the next, so when that happened, of course, we were together for like the next four years as teenagers. We, we actually, we actually, well, we actually went to different places together. We hung out together. We did things. We liked, we had different interests because we were older. But we reminisced our childhood memories, and we actually liked more action movies and horror films. And we liked, and we actually liked all this, all different types of, of stuff. <laughs> we liked, we liked that video games. We liked the video game reviews on YouTube and all that other stuff. Then. In the summer of 2012, we actually spent a lot of time together with, as well as one of my other friends, 
close friends, like, which was Mark Rainer, and we pretty much did so many things together, me and them. We did the same thing with the next year, even though David kind of, like, well, because one of the good things we did was a camp out, like, since 2011. And we kind of, like, did that, like, three, four years as teenagers. After we got, last year we did it was 2013. And he didn't even spend a lot of time with us. He slept on the couch while Mark and I slept in the tent, outside in the tent. But we still had other times in 2013, in the summer, when we got together. And that was like the summer after we all graduated from high school, before we went on to our post-grad years. When we all got back into our post-grad when Mark and I got back into our post-grad years and David was finished with, at Pearson, He, he actually just like, he actually didn't have, he got a lot very busy for both of us, especially me. And we, we couldn't even do, we couldn't get together, we couldn't do things like all the time, together all the time. We couldn't even talk to each other on the telephone. And then that's pretty much, and then we only spoke to each other like two times that e that fall when we were back in school and stuff in 2013. We, that's how little contact we had with each other. And then the rest of the school year, we couldn't, we couldn't really talk to each other. We spoke one more, David and I spoke one last time in 2014 in May that year. And he kind of gave up on all the movie entertainment and stuff. And he didn't feel like he, he was going to do well in life. And that is according to what he told me. And he just... And he just... was Just accepted it and moved on. He told me I can still continue and, and keep hope alive and everything like that. To never give up and everything. But he doesn't he wasn't going to do it anymore. Or he told me that fall before. And then in 2014, when I spoke to him for the very last time... He just stopped, he said that friends come and go, and he's so busy, he wants to spend time with me, but he can't, and that really upset me, and he, did, and he, after a while, he just, the phone call, when the phone call ended, he just, that's the last time I ever spoke to him, I haven't, I tried calling him at times, but he never responded. He never recalled back or, or sent or anything. Now, I'm, ho I'm hoping that we will see each other again. So I think we will. If not, then oh well. But you want to know something? It was I had like I had so many good, so much great times with him throughout the years. There were times in our teenage years, me and him, when we would be close. Not, we weren't as close in teenage years as we were in, two, in the childhood years in the early 2000s. But we kind of like just, we kind of, we kind of had our moments when we were, were that close. But not anymore. He kind of stopped talking to me ever since 2014. So now, I have not many people to talk to. A lot of my other chances I have other friends that I can have other friendships with, like people who I can have a chance to have other friendships with. Right at this point right now, 
I doubt that it's going to happen like anytime really soon. It could happen, it might not, but we don't, you can't tell what the future is going to give you. As for my friend David, I try to, I'm able to comment on his posts on Facebook, but he never usually responds back. I don't, don't have the option to friend him or any of that stuff. And or in, in the PM message box doesn't really work for, between me and him. My other friend, Mark Rayner, told me last summer that he moved to East Hampton and I couldn't get his phone number. But it, and yeah, there were well, a lot of recent pictures. There were a couple of recent, few recent pictures on his Facebook page that really had that really had it, it go. That really um had a but he's a different house that he was in, but. Well, there's a few pictures that actually took place in the Sag Harbor house, so I doubt it. Do I think David and I are going to be back together soon? I doubt, I'm very doubtful about it at this point. But, but hopefully it will happen soon. Because me and him had a lot in common together when we were growing up. I bet the same thing happened to you guys, too. And if you did, then type up a memory down below. But, you know, for me and David, do I think that me and him are going to see each other again one day? Because he works at Red Building Supply in East Hampton, so I know where he is, at least, for the, for the most part. But do I, so, the question is, do I think him and I are actually going to see each other again one day? Yes, I think we are. Do I think we're going to probably get together again, probably have a mo? I'll spend some time together and stuff. Yeah, probably. I, I actually do think so. But do I think that me and him are going to be back together full time like we did in, in the past? Probably not. I don't think so. I don't think so, really. But, you know, he... But, you know... I think he. I think there is a chance that me and him will have a friendship again, and get back together sometime soon. But, but, I, but not like, but not like, but not permanently. You know, like we did during childhood and in our teenage years. Maybe teenage years, but probably not. But I don't think. I really don't think we're gonna have anything like we did as close together as we did in the early two thousand in the very early two thousands during our early childhood years. But you know, I have another friend, Justin Brown, now, who I kind of, who I actually am trying to spend some more time with. Me and him have a lot in common ourselves, and we actually, and I actually am happy with that. Well, that is my video, guys. This is Tim Boutique tuning off, and I'll see you on the wild side.